So I guess when the tornado hit, I was in the shop and, and got knocked out. And when I came to, the shop was gone. And so part of that will be on one of the videos when I came to and kind of the aftermath right after the tornado. And so there was 14 of my family members in, in the house that was close by that I couldn't get to because the debris was already flying before I could uh, go from the shop to, to the cabin. And so there was 14 people in there. And so when I came out of the shop and then I found them, in the basement and so they all were okay and they came out and then there was another cabin just uh, closer to the lake from where we were and there was eight people in there just prior to the tornado hitting and they had all vacated and just left and sought shelter in my parents basement which was about 100 yards from where we were and so it lost some shingles and some siding but that was it but the eight people in the cabin by the lake they were thinking of staying in the cabin and they were looking at, well, which room do we stay in? They were look, looking at getting some cushions and, and blankets and that to ride out the storm. But luckily, they they fled. And we also had some other campers on site that people had come to the basements that were on our property. So, yeah, it was a real miracle that no one was, was hurt at all. So it's hard to believe. So during the, when the tornado hit and the, my brother-in-law was watching it, he said the tornado, the house lifted and it moved and then it just exploded it just was gone basically instantly and there was virtually nothing there was no debris left of our cabin in the field that was in and around the property and so a week later there was a bunch of glass in the field that we were picking there was a china cabinet and it was full of all different sorts of glass and china and so there's thousands of pieces of glass in the field and my sister-in-law had left, had her wedding rings in the bathroom of the cabin so we were Picking glass, there was probably about half a dozen of us picking glass for about an hour, and it's, it was about a 10 acre field, and so we were in the area with the worst amount of glass. And meanwhile, we had big equipment going through this field, hauling debris out for several days prior. So we're looking in the field, picking glass, and uh, one of the persons there found some lip gloss, and so she called my brother over and to, to ask, Is this your wife's lip gloss? Because her rings had been left in the bathroom. And so my brother goes over there and he starts looking and he finds the wedding band. And a minute later, she found the engagement ring. So uh, I had just picked out the bathtub from the cabin out in the lake, about 150 yards away a few days earlier. The sink I had found in the bush, about 100 yards north. So there was stuff all over, spread over a big area. And, and to find the, the wedding ring and the engagement ring was, was quite the find. Just before the tornado hit, I was putting away the, the quad in the shop. We had a sea in there. We had our 16-foot boat on trailer. We had a couple of snowmobiles. We had lawnmower and then all the tools of a shop. So I got the quad into the shop and I went to exit and open the side door and there's already debris flying through the air. I was going to go to the cabin where the basement was, so, but I just stayed put. And it was dark. The power was out, so I so it was pitch black inside the shop. And the last thing that I remember was the big shop doors were, were just shaking like someone was trying to bust in. And then I got knocked out and I came to and the, and the shop was gone. So that was the last thing I remember. Got knocked out of the shop probably about three feet. And debris was all around me. Nothing landed on top of me. A quad went right over top. Sea dew went over top. The boat got uh, thrown outside the shop. It ended upside down. The skidoos were all outside. Basically, the pad was bare like this table, just like someone had had swept it bare. So the fact that everything went around and didn't hit me or, or land on me was, was uh, incredible.